Okay, so in this problem, I have ln of the cube root of x squared times y raised to the negative fourth power divided by z raised to the one half power. So remember, when I have a y to the negative fourth power, I can rewrite that as the positive, and as long as I switch it down to my uh, denominator. So I'm going to rewrite that there. So now I just have y to the fourth. Um, the cube root of x squared divided by you know, y to the fourth and the z to the 1 half power. Now remember, I can rewrite z to the 1 half power. Actually, I'm going to leave that there. But I'm going to rewrite the cube root of x squared. I'm going to write that as x to the 2 thirds power. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up as, my, as a quotient of separate. So therefore, the ln of x to the 2 thirds minus ln of y to the fourth times z to the 1 half. All right. Now remember, you're subtracting your numerator and subtracting your denominator. And I can still break this apart using my product. So I'm going to put parentheses on there to understand that, I'm, that I am dividing both of these terms. Because now, you know, to apply my product property, remember that states that if I have log base b of x times y, that equals log base b of x plus log base b of y. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break this up by the addition of two logarithms. So it would be ln of x to the 2 thirds minus, uh, I'm sorry, yep, ln of y to the fourth plus ln of z to the 1 half. And it's very important for us to provide those brackets to make sure that I'm not just dividing the ln y to the fourth, but I'm dividing both of these terms. Now I can take my exponents and bring them in front as a product. So therefore, it would be 2 thirds ln of x minus 4 ln of y plus 1 half ln of z. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a, uh, a quick example of how to expand a logarithmic um, expression, natural log. Thanks.